Ron, fairy skip hence. I have forsworn his bed and company. Terry, fresh one son, am I not thy lord? Why should Titania cross her Oberon? I do not beg a little changeling boy to be my henchman. His mother was a witchess of my order, but she being more of that boy did die. The Indian garments he hath on, effect it with some care, that he may prove more fond on her than she upon her love. Fear not, my lord. Your servant shall do so. No, Pharaoh, I alone may go. Oh, I am out of breath in this foul chase. But who is here? My son, On the ground. I see no blood, no wound. Enter your office to let me rest. The fairy sings. For thy true love take, love and languish for his sake, be it ounce or cap or bear, hard or bore with bristles. It is the hair. lady that Pyramus must love. Nay, faith, let me not play a woman. I have a beer coming. That's all one. You shall play in a mask, and you may speak as small as you will. And I might hide my face. Let me uh, let me play. This be too. I'll speak in a monstrous little voice. This me, this me, a Pyramus lover dear, by this be dear, a lady dear. No, no. You must play Pyramus and flute. You this be. Well, proceed. Robin Starberly really has the table. Tomorrow, truly, will I meet with thee. Keep promise on me. God speed, fair Helen, and wither away. How you meet, fair, thy fair again unsafe. Demetrius loves your fair. Oh, happy fair. Teach me how you look, and with what are you swayed the most of I frown upon it. Can he love me still? So, oh, that your frowns could teach my smile such skill. I give him curses. He gives me love, oh that my prayers could such affection move. Happy be Titius, our renowned duke. Thanks, get it to his wisdom news with thee. Full of vexation come I with complaint. Against my child, my daughter Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius, my noble lord. This man hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander, my gracious duke. This man hath bewitched the blossom of my child. With cunning hast thou filched my daughter's heart. Turn her obedience, which is due to me, to sovereign harshness.